Happy Election Day, and welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or a volunteer shares a work from our permanent collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope that you check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. Hi, my name's Emily, and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. And to celebrate Election Day, I thought I would share a work from our collection that celebrates another Election Day one about 180 years ago, and that was the election of our 14th president, William Henry Harrison, in 1840. Today's work is titled The Long Bill, and it was painted by American artist James Henry Beard in 1840. Let's look at this work closely. There's a lot going on. We see what appears to be a bustling general store with products of all kinds ranged haphazardly in the space. We have a dead turkey on the floor next to a basket containing vegetables and a barrel of brooms. Behind that, an older man warms his feet by the stove and a cat sleeps perched in a windowsill. In the background behind the two central characters, we have two men, one behind the bar and another enjoying a drink. The two men in the center of the picture are the true focus of the scene. The man with the brown hat in the foreground looks worriedly at a receipt totaling up the high cost of groceries. The well-dressed shopkeeper behind him with his open account book looks with disdain at the unsophisticated customer. So what does this have to do with the 1840 presidential campaign? Well, after a depression in 1837, rampant inflation was the central issue of the campaign. This painting may be read as a political allegory in which the customer represents the Whig nominee, Ohioan William Henry Harrison, and the shopkeeper, his opponent, the New York dandy and Democrat incumbent, Martin Van Buren. In the wake of the Panic of 1837, Van Buren was wildly unpopular, and Harrison, following Andrew Jackson's strategy, ran as a war hero and man of the people while presenting Van Buren as a wealthy snob living in luxury at the public expense. Although Harrison was comfortably wealthy and well-educated, his log cabin image caught fire, sweeping all sections of the country. Harrison was the first president to campaign actively for office. He did so with the slogan, Tippecanoe and Tyler too. Tippecanoe referred to Harrison's military victory over a group of Shawnee Native Americans at a river in Indiana called Tippecanoe in 1811. For their part, Democrats laughed at Harrison for being too old for the presidency and referred to him as Granny, hinting that he was senile, saying, give him a barrel of hard cider and a pension and he will sit the remainder of his days in a log cabin. Whigs took advantage of this quip and declared that Harrison was the log cabin and hard cider candidate, a man of the common people from the rough and tumble West. They depicted Harrison's opponent, Martin Van, President Martin Van Buren, as a wealthy snob who was out of touch with the people. In fact, it was Harrison who came from a family of wealthy planters, while Van Buren's father was a tavern keeper. Harrison, however, moved to the frontier and for years lived in a log cabin, while Van Buren had been, paid, had been a well-paid government official. Nonetheless, the election was held during the worst economic depression in the nation's history, and voters blamed Van Buren, seeing him as unsympathetic to the struggling citizens. Harrison's campaign campaigned vigorously and won but his victory was short-lived. He died 31 days after taking office and John Tyler became the 15th president. So back to the painting, The Long Bill. In looking at this work of art, who do you think the artist James Henry Beard supported in the election? William Henry Harrison or Martin Van Buren? What in this painting makes you choose one candidate over the other? And in closing, I hope all of you that were able to vote in this election did so. It is a great honor that we should not take for granted. Thanks and have a great day.